Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I've been wanting to do a video on this particular subject for a while, and that is, what do these little yellow padlock symbols mean on the packaging we get over in Europe for Master Lock padlocks? Um, you'll notice this one is actually from America, this is Magnum and all the rest say Excel. So this is uh, one I saw from America, but this is actually sold in Europe too. Um, and you can see that there is consistency. Uh, you can also see that I've got a range of uh, locks here, some with um, a number five, for example, out of the scale of 10. I've got a, a rating of seven here on this one, nine here on this one, and 10 here on this one. Before I go any further, I just want to make it very, very clear that this is not a video on whether I think Master Lock are a good company or whether they make good locks, or whether indeed any of the locks I feature are good or bad. That is somewhat subjective. What I want to do is be more objective and factual based on the information Master Lock tell us about their padlock security ratings. Okay, that being said, let's crack on. This is a level 10. Okay, now, as a consumer, you walk up to a stand, you see that there are 10 padlocks here. You'd assume this is some kind of security rating or security level. And if you were to purchase a lock with a one rating, you would expect a lock that isn't so secure, maybe for low security applications. 10, out of a scale of 10, it isn't a stretch of the imagination to believe that most people would consider that to be the maximum level of security that this brand would, would offer you in terms of padlocks. Um, so this is a 10. This, you'd expect, is pretty good. But it doesn't say anything on the pack at all that I can see um, regarding the actual uh, yellow padlock rating. It doesn't say anything. So I investigated and I went to masterlock.com and I found um, a web page which I'll uh, put a link to or the reference to and the data I accessed it because web pages change and it says choose the best padlock and it's quite interesting because it has a, a, a sliding scale of things which are higher security level and lower security level in terms of padlocks. And I think it's actually a good start because it talks about cut resistance, the lock material, how the shackle locks, and pick resistance. It doesn't go into uh, key bitting and paracentricity of the keyway and other things like that, but it's a good start. You know, they are important, cut resistance, lock material, um, shackle locking, and pick resistance, they're good. Okay, so what do masterlock.com say are higher security level padlocks. Well, they are ones with a shrouded shackle. Below that, they have uh, ones which are boron alloy or hard and steel shackled. Those, by the way, are not mutually exclusive. You can see that this is boron carbide, and it could also um, arguably have a shrouded shackle. Um, it then goes on to for cut resistance shackle diameter. Again, the thicker it is, um, the harder it would be to, to cut. And it recommends that their highest um, rating is 7 sixteenths of an inch or 11 millimeters. Uh, and that's that's good too, because there's no point having a big beefy body in the, a tiny one millimeter diameter shackle. It, it would offer pretty much no security. Then it goes on to lock material. The highest it recommends is hardened steel, then steel, then brass and aluminium. That, that's logical too. Shackle locking, dual ball bearing mechanism, because that's a, an anti-shim property, followed by uh, dual shim and uh, single uh, uh, sorry, dual lever and single lever locking. In terms of pick resistance, it says actually that, um, and I don't know many mass slots that have this, but it recommends that seven pin tumblers would be the higher end of the security, followed by six, five, four, four, three, and then at the end of that warded. Um, and those security things, of course, play together, don't they? If you had a, I don't know, a boron alloy shrouded shackle lock with an 11 millimeter shackle diameter made of hardened steel with a dual ball bearing mechanism and seven pins. Yeah, actually that describes a pretty good lock. Things like this Casper 19070X, which is hardened steel. It's um, got six pins, so not seven, but six pins. Uh, it's got a whopping, look at this, 14 millimeter diameter boron alloy shackle. I said full hardened steel body and uh, it's a real beast, okay? Um, those security levels also may be relating to something like this uh, Federal 730P, which has a slightly 
thinner 11 mil shackle hardened steel uh, body shrouded shackle again it's got six pin lock etc etc and both of these also have um, spool pins in which according to the same uh, web page from master lock uh, and I'm quoting here spool pins are virtually impossible to pick just let that settle in for a minute yep good okay so we've agreed that locks like this are actually for padlocks pretty high security and it seems that masterlock.com have recognized that too so where does this all leave us with this padlock scale here well if you go to the not the masterlock.com website but you go to the masterlock.eu website and you go to some but not all of the padlocks on there you'll see that there are references to this padlock scale and they refer to it as a security level a one to ten security level um, and you start out down the bottom of the scale with basic security I'll link to an example with um, a date again and the basic security is well the one I'm going to link to says recommended for luggage protection okay and then we go on to um, just you know around the middle where it says security level is basic to medium security fair enough Gen generally recommended for indoor general purpose okay then we go up the scale a bit more and we start to get to the medium to high security and that is recommended for outdoor general purpose uh, and it's got a caveat except for electronic padlocks and some examples and finally and this is inclusive of this M15 BEURDLF that is high to maximum security recommended for all use including industrial applications so with a padlock like this this packaging is telling me that this is in the scale that is a security level high to maximum security and this is a 1 to 10 scale so you could only really assume that the 10 being the maximum of the maximum on the scale would allude to a security level which is maximum so where does that leave us we've already talked about the things which make a good padlock according to masslock.com and we're looking now at this padlock in particular which is a rating 10 which is high to maximum security highest of all the ratings of the security levels and it says recommended for all use including industrial applications let's go pick it okay so first of all we recognize it's got a nice big thick 11 millimeter sort of diameter um, shackle it's got a laminated body albeit it says it's steel it doesn't say hardened steel steel um, and this is um, well let's have a go at picking it and we're open okay so isn't that interesting this is a maximum security padlock yet I picked it very quickly and that is a level 10 we have things like the master lock 3 and this doesn't even have a rating on the EU channel. Um, it's you know not particularly um, high security padlock. It's not expected to be. It's 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 you know a good value has its applications, but um, you know it's it's not going to be um, anywhere considered a high security lock. And I'm willing to think that maybe this um, and this is brand new by the way. This doesn't have great bitting. It actually has reasonable bitting, or that it's a one off. I haven't got many of these, but I've got other padlocks. I've got this particular one, which is um, one of the Masterlock um, M1s. I can't remember exactly which uh, model that is. I think it's the um, M1 EURDLF. Okay, again, this is a, a another rating of 8. This is a medium to high security lock. Um, And then we've got um, the sort of version of it, which is weatherproof here, which is um, uh, just trying to find the model number for you. 
which is the M, I think it's the M115 EUR DLF, okay? And this uh, is basically, I imagine, the same, albeit that it is uh, has got like a weatherproof uh, coating on it for um, for various reasons. And there we go, that's open too. So I'm seeing a bit of a theme here in that despite the American um, masterlock.com website saying that, you know, a higher security lock should have um, a shrouded shackle or boron alloy. And, and to be fair, these three do have a boron carbide or boron, um, uh, yeah, these have boron carbide shackles, that's good, um, albeit not shrouded. Um, they they do have quite thick shackles, but they don't seem to be hardened steel. These are laminated steel bodies, and they do have dual ball bearing mechanisms, but they have a maximum of, I think, four pins and then five pins in there. So to me, this isn't really um, showing that according to the massot.com site, that these are particularly high security in terms of the high security settings, but yet this particular lock is rated a 10. Yeah, I'm just really, really confused by the whole issue. I would love to know in the comments, what do you think to the master lock security ratings? Do you think that um, any of these padlocks are, um, you know, rated properly? Do you think that there is inconsistencies in the rating? Do you think that Masterlock do um, a really uh, great padlock? Let me know in the comments as well. I'm genuinely interested to know what you think about all this stuff. But as far as I'm concerned, if you look on the masterlock.com website, it has reasonable criteria as to what they think makes a higher um, security level padlock, but that doesn't seem to be borne out when you actually look at um, the whole picture in terms of the security rating that you're given with these padlocks um, in Europe, at least. Especially when you look at the general pick resistance of things like the um, the level 10 security level padlock, which, um, you know, you generally would expect to be really, really quite strong. Um, and like I said, it on the American website itself, it, it says how um, useful uh, spool pins are, um, and yet, for whatever reason, it doesn't appear that this particular model um, has any sort of pick resistance um, in particular. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. I really encourage you to look at the Masslock websites, have a look at the information they provide you, especially if you're going to buy a padlock, it's really worth considering all of these factors and decide what is the best padlock for you. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. I'll see you next time.